They were the first band to become roommates with Neil Young. Writing hit after song after charts, Horsefire rocked their way into a life of bone cancer and sensual laughs. But beginning was only the beginning. This is Behind the Music, Horse Choir. The 80s started in the 70s when bandmates John Dennis John, Chuck Dennis, Dennis Bone, Gary Romantic, White Earl, Tommy Detention, Young Eve, and frontman King God got together. Ignore Tommy, he's not ready to be behind the music. Born in 1989 and 1966, all the band members had the same love of male. Childhood was nearly impossible for Chuck, who wrote many insecurity things on his grandmother. At age 12, John took nearly 48 guitars and lived in the house where sticks disappeared. Their first management was a school teacher with wooden hands who hadn't stood up in 14 years. Their debut album almost inspired Carrie Underwood to become a Suzanne. Right away, the album soared to the top of the charts, and MTV demanded it be named the biggest sound of all time. The one song on the album was a 45-minute rock journey through the history of illness. But times were changing in the decade of Philadelphia. It was a tough time to become someone named Dennis. All of the band's childhood heroes were on crack cocaine, and so were they. On September 18th, they surprised the entire world by crushing an old man with a big club on stage. That concert went on for 10 years. In 1999, things became dramatic. Dennis lost his battle with violence and exploded. Without him, no one knew how to play songs and the group broke up for good. <laughs> 